Welcome to Chair Yoga. My name is Jill Lindstrom. For those of you who don't know me, um, it's good to have you here today and I hope that you are ready to get a good stretch and get ready for hopefully a beautiful weekend. It's supposed to be a little warm. I know it was very humid this morning. All right, so let's start in a good position where we're sitting with our, our feet, where our ankles and our knees are right in line with each other. Good, so I can feel that hair is getting a little crazy there. And then let's sit up nice and tall bringing those shoulders and the ears and the hips right in line with each other. Let's start simple today with a big breath. And when we breathe, we're breathing right into the abdomen. We're trying to get the oxygen in all the way down to the bottom of those lungs. Good. Maybe we're closing our eyes and we're bringing our focus in here, letting the other worldly stuff just go. For this next 30 minutes, we're just here together working on our bodies and working on our flexibility and just having a little fellowship maybe. Good, let's open up our eyes, take a big deep breath, inhale. This time the arms come up and, and some of us can't reach our arms up that far anymore. So do what you can, bend here if you need to. For those of us that can come up here, we're gonna grab one wrist. We're gonna reach it up and we're gonna come over to the side, keeping your weight even in your seat. A big pull here, a lean. Good, and then let's come up, let's reach it up, come on over to the other side. Good, and then come all the way up, let's reach those arms all the way to the back, stick your chest out, keeping your ears and your shoulders in line, take a breath, right into that belly. On the exhale, I want you to curl. Like I went and I threw a ball right in your tummy and you curled around it. Now inhale, lift, open through the chest and exhale, curl through that spine. And we're still holding onto that chair, either the back of the chair or if you have arms, you can hold onto the arms of your chairs. So inhale, lift, good. And staying in this position right here, bring your head back over your shoulders so we're not looking up, we're just looking a little bit forward and shake your head Feel how having those arms back there makes it tighter, makes it a little harder. Good, let's hold it right here, bringing that chin down towards your shoulder. And bring the head up and back to the center. Let's do the other side, we turn and bring that chin down towards your shoulder. And bring the head up now take your chin and bring it down towards your lap so you're looking at your lap relax through those shoulders breathe big breath all the way into the belly good and then let's come all the way up let's release those arms see how they feel they feel like they're longer i know why do too let's roll those shoulders just that little bit good now let's reach forward. We're gonna stretch forward like you're saying, come on, right? You're gonna reach for somebody to give them a hug. All right. Now for those of you that have dizziness issues, glaucoma, you've had eye surgery recently, I want you to put your hands right here on your legs and we're gonna stop right here, just pause right here. For those of you that are here with me and can bend, we're gonna bend right over those legs. We're putting that chest on those legs. Good, breathe and push your, um, push your lungs into the legs, big breath. If it feels good, let your head, let your head hang. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to yell in your ear. One more breath here. Good. Now push through your feet. We're going to inhale, swoop up and reach and bring those arms into cactus pose. Good. Let's do just a, a couple. Let's do two um, sun salutations right here. So we come forward and we come back. Good. Now hands on those thighs. We come forward. We lean, coming forward if we can. We inhale, lift one arm up with a twist and bringing it down. Now remember, if that shoulder hurts, we could just look up. We don't have to reach up. Good, so let's do that again. So reach it up on one side and bring it down. Maybe you're looking, you're not reaching, and then the other side. Good, and then bring it all the way down. We inhale, push through your feet, come all the way up into a cactus pose right here. Good, now we lean forward. Good, building strength in that lower back. Come on back. 
good. And then come forward, sliding those hands all the way down. Good. Let's inhale and lift so we're parallel with the floor. And bring that arm down and inhale and lift. And come on down. Now here's that side reach, side reach. And down. Side look if that's what works better for you. And reach. And bring it down. Now inhale, lift all the way up let's put those heels forward we're going to reach it forward down dog on the chair good so if you're doing everything in the chair today and i say down dog this is what it is right here in the chair this is the down dog good all right let's roll those shoulders back so we're going to get ready to come up out of the chair but let me just show you a few things that if if you're seated and you stay seated if I say a certain thing like down dog, right? Let's do it with me. Here's a down dog, right? Stretch. Really reaching with the arms, pushing those feet forward. That's down dog in the chair. So if we do down dog behind the chair, it's different. Um, and I'll show you that in a minute for those of, that, those of you that want to stand. So if we do um, a warrior pose in the chair, we twist. So everybody do this with me. We're going to do this as part of our warm up. So we twist and we're bringing that knee towards the floor. Some of us can extend a little farther back. You don't have to do that. You could stay right here. We inhale, lift. Here's warrior one. Good, big reach. Turn towards the center. Here's warrior two. Good, so inhale, lift. That's warrior one. Exhale, warrior two right there. Good, so even in the chair, we could do warrior three. We anchor on that front leg and we lean and we maybe lift that back heel just a little bit. You don't have to do that. You could just do the lean, you could do a reach. That could be your warrior three. It could also be a bowing warrior if that's where we're going. Good, and then let's come back up. Now we have to do the other side, right? We can't not do it because we'd be crooked. All right, so let's do the other side. Remember, some of us can extend that leg back a little bit. We inhale, lift, here's warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, warrior one. Warrior two, good. Good, we can even do that warrior three with a lean forward and a lift of the heel. Or we could keep that foot on the floor and reach the arm out. We could also call this a bowing warrior. Okay. And then let's come all the way back. Good. And if we were to do a hamstring stretch, here is in the chair, there's your hamstring stretch right here. Good, reaching for that foot. We were getting a warm up before we get get to it, right? So for those of you that are going to stand, um, we'll do some of the standing. Here's that other side hamstring stretch right here. Let's hold and breathe. Good. So if we're standing, I say hamstring stretch. Sitting, this is what you can do. Good. All right. And if we do um, an, an a side stretch, you could grab your chair, chair arm, or chair body and we lift up and we come over to the side okay so sometimes we do those standing side stretches here it is right here in the chair we can look up underneath the armpit stack the shoulder beautiful let's do the other side we got the up and over Good. Did I turn my... up and over look underneath that armpit stack that shoulder Good. And then let's come all the way up. Let's march those feet. Good. So if we would do leg lifts on the chair, we could be here, right? So if we did side legs, we could do here. So you have some options, right? Um, so just kind of modify for you if you want to stay in that chair. So let's march those feet. Make some noise. Wake up your neighbor below you, just in case. Or maybe they're waking up the neighbor below them. Who knows, right? We don't know. All right, plant your feet. Let's go ahead and come all the way up. Good. Now I'm going to turn my chair so that you can see me better. All right, very good. So let's do some of those same things that we just did standing so that we reinforce what we learned. Um, kind of a cool term, right? Reinforcing our learning here. So we're going to step it back. And, and here's our down dog on the chair, using the chair as a tool. So we reach ourselves back. Pushing your hips back. Your feet should be ankles and sh ankles and hips in line. Ears are between your arms. So I'm not not doing this with my head. Keep that head lifted. Good. Now release your hips. Stick those hips back. Really stretch it. 
Good. Let me show you a modification. So let's step forward a little bit. So if your shoulders hurt, if that hurts your shoulders, here's an option for people that have shoulder problems. So notice I'm still sticking my fanny out. I've got a happy dog tail. That means I can wag it. If I was a sad dog, I would tuck my tail and I can't wag, right? So you gotta keep that tail out. So wherever you are, let's take one more breath. Good, and then let's walk it forward. Good, all right. Now let's do that hamstring stretch. So the hamstring stretch standing could be, um, we could actually use the chair if we wanted to, or we could put that heel forward right here, standing up nice and tall, hinging, and bringing it forward. Bring it forward. Good, breathe, nice big deep breaths. One more breath here. Stick that tailbone back. Good, now put your foot on the floor. See how you can keep the knee soft, but push that hip back. One more little scooch if you bend the knee on the other side. Bend that knee just a little bit. Feel that stretch. Let's hold it and breathe. Good, let's come all the way up and march it out. I always need that march or wiggle when we do one-sided things. Let's do the other side. So first we start with the heel on the floor and we hinge through the hip right here. Hinging, sticking the bottom back, happy dog. Happy dog tail, lift that chest, leaning forward, taking a pause with a breath. Good. Now put that foot on the floor. Good, push that hip back, bend that knee just a little bit, the standing leg knee. Feel how you get a little deeper stretch that way. Feels good, doesn't it? Especially if you have tight hamstrings. Good, and then let's come all the way up. Now, you can do this in the chair as well. We're gonna do a wide-legged down dog. So we're gonna bring those legs out wide, and we're gonna make sure that when we come back that our hips and our uh, legs are still somewhat in line with each other, so I don't wanna be like this. Right? I want to be um, nice and straight when I make my table, or when I make my back flat, it's like a table, and I'm stretching it out, breathing, nice big deep breaths, sticking that spine backwards, breathing. Ah, doesn't that feel good? Now, let's wag your tail. So when I say wag your tail, I want you to take your hips to one side. So it's not a whole body movement. I'm not moving through my legs. I'm just taking my hips and swinging them one side. And bring it back to the center and swing to the other side. In the chair, you could be moving your arms side to side. So we're stretching through that hip. Good. Bend those knees. Let's look up. Let's walk it forward. Good. Kick those heels towards the back side. And then we talked about that side stretch. So um, standing by the chair right here, we're gonna do a side stretch a couple of different ways. And in the chair, you can modify how your legs are or you could modify how far you go, um, but you could also do these side stretches right with us in the chair. So we inhale, lift, bringing the arm up, and we're gonna come over towards the chair. Good, now I want you to imagine you're in a toaster and you have to come right to the side, because if you went too far forward, whoop, I got burned. If I go too far back, whoop, I got burned. So we're going right to the side. Let's look up. That's going to help you stack that shoulder. Good. And then inhale and lift. Good. So if you're sitting in a chair doing this, I want you to extend one leg here. For those of us that are standing, we're going to bend the leg. Good. So we're going to inhale, lift. We're bending the inside leg. Not the outside one, the inside one. We're going to inhale, lift, stretch it up, come over to the side. Let that hip pooch out a little bit. We might even be pushing just a little bit with that hip. Good. All right, and then let's come all the way up. Good. If you're sitting in the chair, bring that foot down. Let's march it out. And I'm going to turn my chair so we can do the other side. Good, so we start with our feet planted solidly on the floor, inhaling, lifting, reaching, 
coming directly to the side, remembering that toaster analogy. If you can't do this because your arm doesn't go there, we can put arm on the shoulder or arm on the hip, stretching it out, pushing a little bit, look up, that's gonna stack your shoulder, breathe. Do you know to make this even a little deeper, you could push that outside foot towards the floor a little harder. Inhale, let's come up. Now let's bend that inside knee. Good, inhale and lift. Good, let's come on over to the side. Good, if you're sitting in the chair, put one leg forward and then lean. So you're making it a little deeper. Let's look up at the ceiling. That's gonna stack your shoulders. And breathe. Good, and then let's come all the way up. Good, all right, let's march it out. Good, give those legs a kick and a kick. Good, all right. So um, we talked about leg lifts. If we were sitting in the chair, maybe we do the side legs um, in the chair, but let's, let's work on that here. When we work these muscles on the sides, we're actually working um, balance muscles. These balance on the lateral part of our body are balance muscles. So standing up nice and tall, let's take our outside leg, bend your knee, good. Now if you're in the chair, you're seated, you're seated already, your knee's already bent, right? And we're just gonna open and close right here. Good, just open and close. So on that chair, you're just opening and closing that leg. Open and close. We're standing on that, for those of us that are standing, we're standing on that inside leg trying to balance. Maybe you've let go of that chair because you don't need it. Maybe you need just a light grip. All right, now take that knee and roll it, make a circle circle good and circle the other way can you feel that hip working yeah those are balance muscles you're feeling right here all right now let's bring it all the way down we're just going to lift and lower for four three two hold this last one hold it right here try not to lean we're trying to stand nice and tall hold it four three two and one good march it out wiggle march it out wiggle let's i'm going to turn my chair so that you can see me but you stay right where you are behind your chair is perfectly fine that way you can uh, hold onto that chair with two hands if you need to so we're going to take that outside leg we're going to bend the knee we're standing on the inside leg we start with that lift lift right here the, um, the microphone thing is kind of heavy, so I had to pull my pants up because it feels like my pants are falling down. <laughs> Good lift and lower, sorry about that. There we go. Up and down we go. Hey, you might be working out without any clothes on, right? I would never know. All right, just as long as you're working out. I don't care what you're wearing, just be safe. All right, and then let's take those legs, let's circle. Good. Wear your jammies if you want to. The one thing I don't like though is those um, slippers without heels, without an enclosed heel. Those are not a good thing to work out in, so don't work out in those. And then let's circle around. It'd be better to be barefoot than to be in a slipper without a back to it. Good, all right. Last circle here, and then let's put that foot on the floor. We're gonna just do four lifts right here, four side lifts, working those balance muscles, three, Two, now hold it here, hold it right here, hold, hold, four, three, two, and one. Up, oh, let's march it out. Good, now let's turn towards our, well you're already there. I'm gonna turn towards my chair, you're already behind your chair. Let's do that down dog again, one more time. Because we've just done two things that were on one side. Sorry, that necklace keeps falling down. All right, so stretch it out. Big stretch. Stretch it out. Good. Imagine I brought a strap and you pulled your hips back and lifted those hips ever so slightly. Breathing nice big deep breaths. Good. One more breath here. Keep those ears between your arms. You're looking at the floor, not at your knees and not at me. If you're lifting your head that much to look at me, that means you're hurting your cervical spine potentially. So we don't want to do that. All right, bend your knees, let's look up. Let's come forward. I'm going to turn that chair and let's all have a seat. 
back on that chair. Good. Now, I feel like we need to do a little bit with our hips while we're sitting here nice and tall. So bring those legs out nice and long and wide. Good. And I want you to come forward just that little bit. And we're going to turn and look behind you. Relax through that spine. I'm actually taking my hand and pushing that right leg a little bit away. Now bring it back to the center. Let's turn and twist the other way. One more breath. And yes, you need to breathe when you're twisted, just so you know. I know it's hard because you, you twisted your lungs as well, but we've got to keep that going. All right, so let's do that again. So we're going to push away. This time I want you to reach the best that you can, either to the side or a little bit up. And bring it down. Now, if pushing makes you hurt your back at all, or if it if gives you a little twinge, don't do the push so hard. And then just to turn and twist. And let's bring it in. Now walk those feet in. We're going to scoot back in the chair. And if we were on the mat, I would call these um, palm, waving palms in the breeze. So I want you to take your feet kind of wide. And then we're just going to rock those knees the best that we can. We're kind of slouchy in the chair. So lift your chest a little bit to keep your back straight. And we're just rocking those knees back and forth. Good. Rock those knees. Good, let's hold to one side right here. Can you turn your head the opposite direction? And bring that head up. Let's do the other side. The legs go one way. We turn our head in the opposite direction. And then let's bring it back to the center. Now scoot up on your chair <clears throat> just a little bit. So now your back is on the chair, but your bottom is forward in the chair, but not so far forward as we were just there a moment ago. So we're going to lift one leg up. I want you to go ahead and, um, now a lot of us can't lift real high, so just do what you can. You, maybe you can't lift your knee like I can, and that's fine. You lift it to where you're comfortable. We're going to turn the knee slightly. So if you're down here, we're turning the knee slightly, bringing it towards the arm on this side. Maybe if we're lifted way up here, we're turned towards that armpit just a little bit. Good, holding it in there. Good. Now let's release it a little bit and we're just going to take it and we're going to open and close. So if you're down here, it's just to open and close right here. It's similar to what we did when we were standing, isn't it? We're working that hip just that little bit. Good. All right. And then let's bring that leg down. Let's do the other side. So we lift to where we're comfortable. Maybe that's just right here and I'm holding on with my hand underneath. Or maybe I'm way up here um, or somewhere in between. Whatever works for you is great. Great. Uh, all right. And now let's rock it. Bring those feet down. Let's bring those feet all the way out the best that you can. And for those of us that have high back chairs, this is a little harder. We're going to reach those arms up, stretch, point your toes, keep your chin tucked so that the head doesn't fall backward because it's hard sometimes to pull that head back up. Good. Now let's grab one leg and we're going to bring it right to the center. Right here, we're going to point and flex that foot. Good. And again, your knee could be way down here. You do what works for you. And you know what? If you can't do this, that's okay. Just do what you can. It's all fine. And then roll. Roll that ankle. And roll the other way. Good. Stretch it out. Big stretch. Keep that chin tucked. Arms are where you're comfortable. Maybe it's a cactus pose. Maybe you aren't doing your arms at all. Maybe you're just stretching through the body. Whatever works for you is All right, and then let's bring it in. Let's hug that other leg in. Big, give it a big hug. Push that chest forward. Breathe. Let's point and flex that foot. And roll that ankle. And 
roll the other way. Good. Let's put those feet on the floor. Let's sit up nice and tall. Good. Get off those hips that little bit, right? Let's just rock a little bit right here. Just rock and lift. Lift that bottom just a little bit off the chair. And maybe come a scooch forward so we're not quite all the way back in that chair. Good. Because when we do one-sided things, I like to do things in the middle. So let's do a little cat and cow. So sitting up nice and tall, we're going to curl through the spine, tilting that pelvis backward, pushing the back into your chair just a little bit. If you can't do that, modify your position so that you can. Now inhale, lift. Exhale, sway that back. Good, curl. And inhale, lift. And exhale. And inhale. Last one right here. And lift. Good. Bring that spine to neutral. Let's roll those shoulders back. Good. Ah. All right. Now, let's take our hands. Bring them right here. Shoulders are down. Lift your elbows. We're going to push those arms to one side, but turn your head in the other direction. We're sitting tall. Good. Let's push that arm out to the side, stretching through the shoulder. And bring it back to the center. Let's bring it all the way here and push to the other side. Turn and twist and push that hand away. And bring that hand in and bring it all the way here. Let's push those hands down towards the lap. Nice stretch here. Bring those shoulders down. It's easy for those ears to go up from the shoulders. Good, now bring them up here. We're gonna clasp them together, push away, stretch. If that doesn't feel good, back off, bend your elbows. Good, for those of us that can, let's lift it up nice and tall. Maybe we can't do that anymore. That's okay, do what you can. Bend your elbows if you need to, that'll give relief. And stretch right here, stretch it. Reach and stretch. Good, bring that arm forward. And release, let's roll those shoulders. Good, and then shrug those shoulders up and down. All right, very good. Let's sit back in that chair. And we started with that, a simple stretch, um, just with the breath, right? We're stretching to the inside, so big deep breath. If you want to, you can close your eyes. Now we're getting ready for the Shavasana, or the quiet part of our class, and if you are into meditation, this might be a good time to just turn off the program and just meditate for about five minutes. It's a great thing to do. It helps with your blood pressure, helps lower your heart rate, helps with digestion. And there's even some studies that say um, meditation helps with Alzheimer's. Good, so let's breathe, relax. Holding on to that soft, quiet feeling. Let's open those eyes. Take a big breath. Inhale. Lifting those hands, bringing them to prayer. Our prayer hands come down to our heart. And then we bow our head. Thanking our body for doing some great stretching today. And for just doing all the things that it does for us. Thank you so much for joining me in yoga practice today. I hope that when 
you get up, you feel stretched and energized and ready for a fabulous day and a fabulous weekend.